The third fire involving a high energy battery was recorded just this week. That prompted a warning to owners of electric vehicles. Fire Chief Errol Maynard says his fire officers are now better trained to manage the challenges. The fire service has also commissioned new state-of-the-art appliances. We have commissioned three new state-of-the-art appliances which further enhance our effectiveness and our response to emergencies. And you would have seen some of the equipment that we used earlier this afternoon. Our efforts will go beyond our current initiatives as we intensify, intensify our public education and engagement programs. The Barbados Fire Service has also embraced a new method for citizens to report emergencies. Provision has also been made for the use of WhatsApp for reporting emergencies. This new communication medium will enable individuals with hearing impairment to contact us more easily ensuring that everyone has access to emergency service when needed. We will also be training our dispatchers to communicate via sign language. And I'm sure most of you would have heard that just recently we had a couple of hikers um, lost and they used the WhatsApp to communicate with the fire service in order to let persons know or let us know that they were in trouble. Minister of Home Affairs and Information Wilfred Abrams, meanwhile, has praised the Barbados Fire Service, along with the Barbados Defence Force crew, for their role in providing assistance to neighboring states following the passage of Hurricane Barrow. This was not part of the duties that you signed up for when you signed up for the Barbados Fire Service. I don't think you even contemplated that you'd be called upon to give the service that you did. But what you, in effect, did was help a country and a people who were at their lowest. With the way the climate is going, with the strength of the storms, you all see those storms spinning on the Atlantic right now. They're spinning the Atlantic, but quite equally, they could be spinning down here. We hope never to get hit. At some point in time, we will get a hit. And I hope that when we do, then people like you all, step up from the other countries to give the service to Barbados that Barbados did when asked. Several officers and civilians were recognized at the ceremony, which formed part of a slate of activities commemorating the Barbados Fire Service's 69th anniversary. Kishmar Sengis, CBC News.